Good morning, folks. Early start today. We've got Solar Watch as a hurricane warning and four good papers to hit today on several key topics. Let's get started with the last 24 hours on our star, and we're still watching for the new sunspots incoming. They should be cresting over the incoming limb into view today. Flaring was low over the last 24 hours since the long duration flare we showed you yesterday morning, but we'll still have to have eyes open on these active regions turning into view. You should also be able to spot several large plasma filaments multi-source eruption watch this week but now let's go to the tropics you should be able to spot three spinning storms in the surrounding areas of the americas with the one in gulf of mexico idalia already strengthening quickly and set to hit florida as a major hurricane locals should have already received their alerts please act accordingly if forecasts are correct this could be a pretty major impact We'll keep monitoring that system, but first up in the scientific articles is a good reminder on space weather and satellites. Not only can major solar storms take out satellites, but even a sequence of smaller ones can have a similar impact if they impact in close succession. Good one up next on how the weakening of the AMOC, the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, leads to cooling. We've spent a good deal of time recently going over how the release of the Beaufort Gyre and that weakening AMOC will bring cooler prevailing conditions. Good paper here on how that impact affected the eastern Mediterranean in the past and how the signals in the atmosphere are similar today. Fascinating examination up next on atmospheric oscillations that are similar between the Sun, Earth, Jupiter, and Saturn. Interesting shared harmonics throughout the solar system, especially tied to a nearly 40-year acceleration pattern seen on the Sun and triggered by the combined orbits of the two gas giants. Last but not least, yesterday we reviewed the evidence of solar impact on tropical storm tracks in the North Atlantic. Today, We've got another one on frequency of tropical events in the western North Pacific. They found a correlation to be strongest during sunspot maximum, just as has been discovered before. Once again, the sun and major storms. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn a lot more and check out your resources in the description box below the video. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.